Hey guys, it's Nadine. So I'm back to do another cooking video with you all. And I call it my Cow Cow Corner if you guys don't know yet. Um, it's what I have determined will be my cooking episodes. And Cow Cow in Hawaiian means to eat. In Hawaii, when I went to school, our cafeteria had um, a group of people, a group of ladies um, that used to cook for us. And they used to make hot meals every single day from when I was in kindergarten to eighth the grade. The lunch lady in our lunchroom, her name was Mrs. Fo, And she used to be like the head of our cafeteria and she had like a bunch of people under her and just the really sweetest lady she not only made really good warm healthy lunches for us but she also used to make like really killer desserts and stuff and um this is actually a recipe that i got from one of her um lunch ladies years after because what happened was mrs Fo passed away and um i actually went back to hawaii like many, many years ago, uh, one of my many trips back, and I went to visit the cafeteria to pick up some shortbread cookies and peanut butter cookies because that's what they're known for. Um, I wanted to bring some home for my mom and myself and my sister. Um, and so I went to the cafeteria, and one of the ladies happened to be still working there. Um, and she, so I was talking with her, and uh, I asked her if I could get some recipes from her. So she actually shared with me two different recipes, and I'm, this is the very first one that I'm going to share with you guys. So... This is actually called hamburger curry or hamburger kare. Um, that's how they say it in Japanese. And it's very, very simple. I am not even kidding. You are going to actually like be amazed at how simple this is. And it's really good. And it, especially for fall when the weather is cold, this is a great warm dish to serve over some rice. Or if you don't want to have rice and you can serve it with some bread or whatever, or even over like pasta would be good too. I happen to like it over rice. And I'm going to share with you guys one final thing about this. And this is going to sound so bizarre, but when you actually put your curry on your rice, add a little dab of butter on top of your rice and then add the curry. And I don't know what it is about that combination, but it actually makes it really, really delicious. <laughs> I know it might sound strange, but trust me, it's actually really good. Um, so let me share with you guys my recipe for hamburger curry. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys give it a try, please let me know. A lot of people have tried my Kalua Pig and loved it. And also my Zippy's Chili and really, really loved it. So I look forward to hearing if you guys try this out and whether or not you like it. Take care. Alrighty, so let's get started with the ingredients. Here are all of the things that you need in order to make this recipe. You can go ahead and pause the video so that you can write this down. This recipe can easily be doubled or actually half, depending on how many people you're looking to serve. Right here I have my pot that I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid and add two tablespoons of my olive oil to it. You can use vegetable oil. Whatever oil you have in, on hand is what you can go ahead and just squirt on the bottom of your pan and let the pan heat up on medium. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my two pounds of ground beef and you can substitute uh, ground chicken or ground turkey if you prefer. Um, and what I'm doing right here is I like to take with my clean hands the hamburger meat and go ahead and just kind of... Um, separate it from the big bulk so that it makes browning easier and you don't get humongous chunks of ground beef in your dish. Um, I hate to have humongous chunks of ground beef in there and makes browning very easy too. What I have here is my favorite, favorite, favorite uh, kitchen utensil and it's actually this um, silicone spatula that I got from Sir La Table. You can find it all over the place, Walmart, Target, wherever. Um, and I use it to just further uh, crush the meat down so that it makes more smaller edible chunks. Um, and it's also a really good spatula to flip your meat as well. Um, as you can see, as the meat starts browning, what you want to do is you want to take that little um, utensil and just kind of turn the meat over very gently um, so that all of the different sides of the ground beef or all of the ground beef gets um, brown. Now what I have here is a box of curry paste that I purchased from Walmart. They have this at Walmart or Target in the Asian aisle and I found that it actually uh, dissolves better if I cut it into small slivers. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my uh, tiny knife or a tiny cleaver and I'm just cutting it into little thin slivers so that way when I go ahead and add it to my dish um, it takes less time to go ahead and dissolve um, over my meat and in my curry uh, my hamburger curry mixture now 
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take onion powder. You can use onion powder or you can use um, fresh diced onions. Um, and I'm also going to take some garlic powder and add some of that to my mixture. My family tends not to love onions, although I have to sneak it in there every now and then. Uh, but for this dish, I actually use the powdered version of both onion and garlic powder. Next, we're going to add a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. You can use whatever kind of vegetables you like. If you only prefer corn and peas, be my guest. Whatever suits your fancy, go ahead and add the frozen vegetables here. After mixing your vegetables in, then go ahead and add a cup of water. I would suggest cup to cup and a half of water. And the reason for this is that you want a little bit of gravy in your hamburger curry. So the more water you add, the more gravy you get. However, I do not suggest more than two cups of water total. Now we're going to go ahead and season this with salt and pepper and then we'll let this simmer on the stove on medium heat for about 15 minutes max and then it's going to be time to serve. After about 15 to 20 minutes of simmering, our hamburger curry is all ready to eat. Now here it is, it has a lot of gravy and it's really good. The gravy is thickened by the curry sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and make my husband's plate which is normal in our house. I feed everybody else and then I eat last. So there's his little bowl of rice and we always eat it over rice and you can also eat it over mashed potatoes if you would like. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make his plate up and I usually take it to him wherever he is. Um, and then I usually feed myself. So remember earlier I told you guys about that quirky thing about adding butter onto your rice? Well here's my plate and this is how I like to eat it. I add some butter onto my rice and then I add my curry on top of that. And there's something about the sweetness and creaminess of the butter along with the curry that just makes it really really delicious. So I hope you guys give this a try and let me know if you like it. Enjoy! Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and click the subscribe button on the top left of this screen. I also, if you're interested, have another video of my roasted lemongrass chicken, which is so easy and so very delicious. Take care, guys. Talk to you later.